Hey guys, Kev here, and I got a couple more Kun Wu knives to review for you. These are Taos, so you guys obviously have seen probably the original Tao on the channel. Uh, I backed that one a long time ago um, and really liked it. It all started with the Kun Wu, uh, what was it, the Orion, and I didn't actually get in on that one. And then they had the Ronin, and I did get in on that one. It was like when I first started uh, really getting into the, the knife scene on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. Um, and then they came out with the towel last year or so, um, maybe even a year and a half, two years ago. And I loved it. Really, really loved that knife. And I've always said they should come out with a medium sized version because they have the towel, which is like three and a half, three point six 3.6 inches. And then they have the mini which is like a keychain knife so um they have finally come out with the compact towel and then we have the s towel which is the full-size version but in a sheep's foot and in vanek super clean so really cool stuff here um we can real quick cover the compact because you can just go watch my towel reviews um the knife is amazing it's just a really good design um, I've always dug this design. Um, if you're right-handed, you can actually... Ooh, at least I could. Okay, never mind. I swear I was flicking this earlier. Ow! Oh, it's because I have this liquid band-aid on. Anyway, I think you can reverse flick off of this uh, blade. But anyway... Um, it's a 3.25, 3.3 inch blade, which is perfect, uh, in my opinion. Here is a Devo Knives Stout, just for reference. Basically the same size on that guy right there. Um, and it, it does everything the towel did. It has a great detent, great action, great front flipper, does not have a hole. And that's pretty much the only negative on this knife is it doesn't have a hole. <laughs> um, they switched up to a wire clip instead of that one that mounted on the rear. That was kind of a pain in the ass, honestly. This is much better. It is reversible. I do wish it was a normal wire clip, not this bow tie clip, but it looks fine. You get the cool Timascus pivot collar as usual. Nice grind lines, sort of a CNC satin. Um, they do a good job. Their heat treat is really well done. This is LMAX steel. I mean, look at that action, detent. It's just, man, I just love this design. Um, I will say there's one thing with the towels. They all have just a slight bit of lock rock. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I've had enough of them and done enough testing and, and spine whacking and whatnot that I think it's just like it wears in or it's just something. I don't know. There's no stick or anything. It just they just tend to have that tiny bit. And it's just like you have to really... If I just do this, you don't feel it. But if you really wrench on it, you do. So honestly, I think it might just be the lock bar flexing a little bit. Um, so it might just not be the um, springiest lock bar. Or it is springy. I don't know. Um, but it's really cool. Uh, I dig it. This one's coming soon. This is the Tau Compact. And then... The one everybody probably wants to see, the Sheep's Foot Towel in Vanex Super Clean. So this is going to be a rust-proof steel, and it's coming in on the towel model. Of course, same handle as the original towel and this towel compact. Really cool stuff. And then you have this Sheep's Foot Blade, which I think is really cool. Uh, one thing that I don't like is aesthetically, it feels a little long. Like if you take the Stout, which undoubtedly has similarities in terms of the sheep's foot blade. I think the proportions look a little better here because of the size. Now I'm biased. It's my knife design, but I just feel like the, the, it being a little bit smaller, I think makes more sense. If that makes sense where this feels stretched out a little bit. It just seems like this blade could have been shorter. It, ow. It's, I think I deserve that. The knife probably fucking hates me after saying that. Um, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. But it still looks great and everything. Um, feels good in the hand. You got the Tau Ergos choke up like this. No problem. It is a flat grind. A hollow would be sick. I think they did tell me this is going to be a little bit thinner behind the edge than the prototype I have here. 
But it, this prototype feels great. You have this jimping, which is pretty good. Would love some up here, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, the action is silly. It drops. You have that flipper tab. The detent is money on this one. Pops out left-handed. Now, you can reverse like this guy. Right-handed. Left-handed, not so much. You got to get really low on that clip and try to catch it. And you can get it. But if you're up here like normal, you're going to tear your finger up a little bit. But right-handed, boom. Is it the best reverse flick? No, the whole shape is a little awkward for the flick, but it works. Um, it's lock bar tension there, so you got to keep your fingers. I'm not right-handed, so it gets tough sometimes. Keep your fingers off the lock bar, flip it open. Thumb works. Reverse flick works. But in my opinion, just like any towel, that flipper tab is where it's at. And then you have that secondary front flipper for me. So this knife, I don't really reverse flick it as much as I do other knives with holes. That's basically all I do with the knife if it has a hole. But um, I just love the towel so much. I'm used to doing different uh, deployment methods. Dead centered on this guy. Bow tie wire clip. Again, reversible, which is awesome. Tie mask is pivot collar. Uh, you have standoffs here. So they're, um, they did a backspacer on the towels, but on the S towel, they went to standoffs maybe because of the sheep's foot blade. It lets it come down a little bit deeper, lets it fit into that handle because it's got that, oops, it's got that sort of sweep up a little bit. So as that travels down, that backspacer would probably be in the way i don't know or it could be a cost saving measure because they're doing the van x and they're just trying to bring it in at a great price uh they did claim that they were going to have the cheapest production knife with van x um i believe this is 299 so i know the quiet carry waypoint here is titanium and van x super clean it comes in at 295 so it is a little bit more but I mean, it's five bucks, um, and this isn't, you know, this is on washers. It's very thin, um, but it's made in Taiwan, and it's got the same materials. So, uh, honestly, and then it has the LC200 in liner. So, this one might honestly be a little more premium if you looked at it that way. Um, they're definitely different, but very similar builds. Um, so, I think $299 is a great price on this with Vanex. I'm not complaining, um, but it's not the cheapest out there in Vanex. Plus, I think there's some other companies like um, Stedamon or something that uses Vanex on some knives. Um, but this is really cool. Great in the hand. You get that uh, orange peeled titanium on both of these. Um, I believe they are going to start offering different uh, handle materials and finishes and stuff going forward. Um, they've done a lot of just gray and satin stuff, but um, they're you know trying to change it up going forward. I honestly just love their knives i mean this is the s tau the tau compact and then these i reviewed recently oops the zen compact and the zen all of them are phenomenal knives all of them are pretty much no-brainers at the price points that they have them at um you're talking about you know close to 200 dollars, i think on the zen same on the Zen Compact, same on the Tau Compact, and then you're closer to 300 or at 300 on the S Tau. But that's in Vanex. These are all LMAX. You know, you really just can't go wrong. Um, yes, it's a lot of money. Anything over a hundred bucks is a lot of money. But like to the knife guys who buy knives who spend money, it's 100% a good deal. That's all I can, it's the only way I can put it. But yes, it is still a lot of money in terms of money, you know. But what you get, I think, is totally worth it. So anyway, I've rambled enough here. I just wanted to hit you guys with the uh, Tau Compact and the S Tau. Really cool knives. They are either available at this point or coming very soon. There was a wait list for the S Tau. It may still be open. And I believe they're starting one up or just dropping the uh, Tau Compact very soon. These are both prototypes. Big shout out to Kunwu for letting me check out these prototypes a little bit ahead of time. That means a lot to me. I appreciate the support and um, appreciate you guys. There's a link down below for, I think, all of these. 
just uh you know check out the link or whatever and if you guys pick any of that stuff up uh it may help the channel i think um i think i'm getting set up with an affiliate account with them um uh, but i don't know if that would have happened at this point uh when this posts um but regardless i'm more concerned that you guys get cool stuff for a good price um uh, and if it helps the channel cool if it doesn't whatever but uh, links are down there if you want them. And uh, let me know what you think of the Kun Wu knives that I've been checking out the last couple of weeks. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.